today I am going to be reviewing a product that was sent to me by Mimi Box. Now this is the product that I said that I would be reviewing in another video, so here it is. The uh, cream that I'm going to be re reviewing is from a brand called Skin Ceramic. And this one is it's a Donkey Milk and Argan Oil Steam Cream. The cream itself came in this um, pretty box right here with all these pretty letterings and a really cute donkey um, image right here. Um, there's a donkey here as well. But um, from what I read about this cream, it, it said that basically donkey milk is more nutritious than cow milk and goat milk and it has similar properties as basically uh, breast milk. It is more nutritious but I honestly have never heard um, of any beauty products using donkey milk. I heard of the tr other products that used regular milk that you are more used to hearing about but I was kind of I guess skeptical about it because I don't know anything about donkey milk and yeah but I have been using this cream for about a week. It came in this container this silver container with really pretty, um, really simple design. I usually give some products, majority of the products I would say a week to try because I have sensitive skin so depending on what I put on my face, um, I do tend to break out. The reason why I waited one week to review this product was because of that. I wanted to see if um, my face would react badly towards the product but Thankfully, it did not. Um, inside, when you open it, like any cream, it has the little plastic flap to protect the cream from, I guess, getting onto the lid and getting all messy. This cream, when I first open it, I usually like to smell the product to see um, what kind of smell it has, if it's pleasant, if it's not pleasant. But this one, when I first opened it and I smelled it like that, there was no strong fragrance coming from it. I could smell kind of um, milk. I could smell this lactose smell coming from the cream, but nothing artificial. So I thought it had no smell and everything that this cream is, this is um, all organic. They didn't put anything artificial, so no artificial smell and no artificial coloring. As you can see, um, the cream is white. Um, the cream is very bouncy and fluffy. It has a consistency of, I would say, cream cheese. So when I, the first time I used it, I still remember, I basically got about a size of my finger, of my index finger, and I spread it all over my face. And as soon as I started massaging it onto my face, what got me the most was the smell that was coming from it. When I first smelled the cream by itself, there was no smell, no, I guess, um, strong smell coming from it. But as soon as I started working the product into my face, I smelled this, I would say, um, milky, herbally smell. To me, honestly, it wasn't really pleasant because I don't really like milk. I know it's healthy, but I just don't really like the taste. And Smelling it on my face with this argan oil herbal smell, I didn't really enjoy that part. And my first impression of the cream when I applied it, it was, oh, it's really soft, it's really bouncy, it's very oily. You have oily skin and this kind of made it more oily. So I was, I was a little bit worried that I might break out in the next morning when I woke up. But that wasn't the case. Actually, when I woke up, it was... Um, of course, my face was more oily than usual, but I didn't have any new breakouts. Um, no, no reaction to it, no rashes, no nothing. So that was a good thing. And the second thing I noticed after, of course, I washed my face, I noticed that my skin felt softer. Um, I usually have, I would say, kind of dull skin. Basically, not really good skin, but um, out in the morning, the next day, um, the first morning since I used this cream, my skin felt really soft. 
and um, after the one week that I've been using the cream, I did notice that my hyperpigmentations have become less dark. It kind of evened out my skin tone, so I'm really happy about it. The only con about this cream, I would say, is the smell. I really don't like the smell. Um, I kind of got past it, but um, every night when I put it on, I try to massage it as fast as possible so that the smell can, I guess, dissipate faster because, yeah, I, I, don't, I just don't like it. Um, but um, the cream itself, not counting the smell, I really like. So I do highly recommend this product for anybody that's looking for, I would say, a night cream. I don't really recommend you using it on the mornings before you put makeup. Plus, um, you might look really, really, really shiny. And I'm pretty sure you don't want that. So um, this cream is really good for, I would say, night, um, nighttime because it gives it more time to absorb onto your skin and you don't have to worry about being oily while you sleep because you're sleeping. Thank you Mimi Box for sending me this cream. I have already implemented it into my everyday, I mean every night skincare routine. And yeah, I will just continue using it and I will probably repurchase this product um, in the future once I run out. So that is all for this review. Um, if you have any questions, any further questions about this product, do feel free to comment down in the comment box below. Also, if you have any suggestions for my upcoming videos, I would love to hear them. And give this video a thumbs up for more reviews in the future and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in 